this is an ultrasound examination to rule out renal artery stenosis. This first image is a long axis view of the right kidney. The measurement is 9.1 centimeters, which is at the low end of normal. The echogenicity of the renal parenchyma appears to be normal or perhaps slightly echogenic when compared to the liver. It should be hypoechoic when compared to the liver. The renal pelvis has a normal echogenic appearance. Another image of the right kidney, the length in this image measures 9.15 centimeters. And a third measurement, this measurement is 9.05 centimeters and is normal, although at the low end for a right kidney. This is a Doppler signal from an arcuate artery, and the echogenous or the uh, resistive index of this is above 0.7 centimeters, uh, and uh, this is a low quality waveform. This is an image uh, and Doppler signal from one of the lobar arteries and uh, the diastolic flow is better demonstrated in this artery and we have a resistance that is approaching 0.8, it is 0.79. This is at the upper limits of normal. Here's another uh, image. This is the distal portion of the right renal artery. The velocity is 68.5 centimeters per second. It is difficult to determine whether that angle correction has been set uh, in, the, in the right way. Here's another, this is uh, called the mid portion of the right renal artery and uh, we get a velocity of 55.3 centimeters per second. This is a nice image of the renal artery in the distal third and uh, it fills nicely with color. Here we see the entire length of the right renal artery to the aorta. This is the origin of the right renal artery and we have a peak systolic velocity of 68.5 centimeters. All of the measurements of peak systolic velocity of the renal artery were less than 180 centimeters per second. Another image of the right renal artery origin. We can see it uh, as it passes underneath the vena cava. Here's a velocity of the aorta in the area of the renal artery origins. Uh, it is monophasic, which is what it should be, and the peak systolic velocity is 99.1 centimeters per second. So none of the velocity measurements in the right renal artery exceed three and a half times the peak systolic velocity of the aorta. This is a Doppler waveform from the cortex of the left kidney. This is likely a, uh, a uh, arcuate artery. We have a resistance that is greater than 8 or 0.8. It's 0.81 and a very low diastolic flow. In the central portion of the kidney, we have uh, another resistive index that is uh, close to 0.8 and has low diastolic flow. Both this waveform has a, this has a nice straight upstroke and the previous waveform has a nice straight upstroke. High resistive indices are not a sign of renal artery stenosis. They are a sign of renal disease. This is an image showing the length of the left kidney at 9.8 centimeters. It is larger than the right kidney and 
This is quite often the case and is normal. Another image showing the length of the left kidney, which is 9.4 centimeters. And finally, a third image showing the length at 9.5 centimeters. On all three of these previous images, uh, the depth is, is set at a uh, number that is way too deep. Uh, this image has been minimized by utilizing too deep a setting. This is a color doppler of the uh, left renal artery. It has somewhat tortuous pattern as it flows to the uh, left kidney. The uh, distal portion of this artery has a velocity of 39 centimeters per second. It has a nice straight upstroke, so no parvus tardis demonstrated, although the resistive index is rather high at 0.83. In the middle portion of the renal artery, again, a nice straight upstroke, however, a high resistive index. And finally, at the origin of the renal artery, we get a peak systolic velocity of approximately 49 centimeters per second, and again, an elevated uh, resistive index. The aorta near the uh, origin of the renal arteries gives a uh, velocity of 67 centimeters per second. Uh, this is somewhat lower than the 99 centimeters per second obtained earlier. And of course, should be the same. None of the measurements of the left renal artery exceed three and a half times the peak systolic velocity of the aorta. None of the resistive indices are under 0.5 and none of the absolute velocities of the renal arteries exceed 180 centimeters per second. Therefore, there is no evidence of renal arterial stenosis.